Hello internet and welcome to CodePick. In this video, we will be learning how to install React Native Maps on both iOS and Android. I hope I got you excited, so let's get started. Head over to the following GitHub repo. You can find this link in the description below. RN Maps is a React Native Maps boilerplate that I created for React Native Map video series where I teach you everything you need to know to master maps. You can clone this repo if you want to follow along or you can just follow the steps mentioned in the video to set up maps in your own project. Let me clone the github repo real quick by doing git clone and then I paste the link and hit return. Once that is done, I cd into RN maps and run npm install. If you are on a Mac and plan on running iOS simulator, I suggest you cd into the iOS folder and run pod install. Once that is done, let's start the project by running npm start on one side and npm run iOS on the other. Let's wait for our app to be compiled and installed on our simulator. This will be our starting point if you clone the GitHub repo. Now let's install React Native Maps, shall we? We can do that by running the following command npm i react native maps. Once that is done, let's start setting up maps on our iOS first and then move on to Android. If you are on iOS, you have two options at hand. You can either choose maps by Apple or Google. Apple map is the default option and it requires no additional installation step. To prove that, let me head over to code and uncomment everything in map view component. And then I head over to order tracking screen and comment out the text and uncomment the map view component. Once that is done, before we do anything else, I cd into the iOS folder and run pod install. After that, I run npm run iOS to recompile and rebuild the app. As you can see, now we have Apple Maps being displayed in that section. But we want to use Google Map as it is much more robust and also to maintain consistency between our Android and iOS device. To enable Google Map on iOS, follow these steps. Head over to app delegate file on your code and there you first import Google Map header like this. You can find this in the description below. Then paste this line on code and make sure gsm services is the first call of the method. This includes your Google Maps API key. Let me real quick show you how to get the Google Map API key. For that, head over to Google Cloud Console. There under API and Services, go to Library. Once in there, make sure Map SDK for Android and iOS both are enabled. You can also enable Map JavaScript API if you plan on using it on web as well. Once that is done, just click on Manage. Inside Google Maps Platform section, head over to Credentials tab. Here, I already have a key, but if you don't, you can create one. If you plan on building a production-ready application, I suggest create a separate key for iOS and Android and add application restrictions. But for the purpose of this demo, you can create an unrestricted one. Let's head back to code and here open pod file. Change the iOS platform version to 13.0 as Google Map SDK for iOS requires it to be 13.0 or higher. Now add the following line above use native modules. Here you are specifying the RN Maps path and it's pointing to RN Maps inside your node modules. Once that is done, save all the file cd into ios and run pod install. As you can see, we installed google maps, google map ios util and react native google maps. On running npm run ios, it throws an error telling architecture mismatch. This error occurs if you are running xcode version 12 or greater. If you look at the xcode 12 release notes, under build settings depreciation section, it says we should use excluded architecture in place of valid architecture. 
To do that, I open Iron Maps Xcode workspace and then I click on the Iron Maps and open the build settings. There, search for architecture. In there, make sure under excluded architecture, both debug and release have ARM64 as the value. Then, click on the show issue in navigation tab and let's fix some of the build time RN maps issues. All we need to do here is update the following to recommended settings. We can do that by clicking on update to recommended settings section and clicking on the perform change and that's it. The final step is to include this code under pod install like this. You can find this in the description below. Now delete the existing app and close the iOS simulator. Now run npm run ios and wait for the app to install on your simulator. Now that the app is built successfully, let's head over to code and inside map view component, if I change the provider from default to provider google and save it, you should see google maps being rendered in place of apple maps. How cool is that? Now let's move on to android. I have commented out map view component and uncommented the text component. This is so that our app doesn't crash trying to render Google map. Now we can build our app on Android by running npm run android. Once that is done, you can see that our app compiled successfully and we are on the default starting point again. Setting up Google maps on Android is very simple. Just head over to Android Manifest XML file in your Visual Studio code. In there, just add the following metadata where Android name is Geo API key and the value is your Google API key that you got earlier. Let me just add back the map view component, save everything and recompile our application. Once that is done, you can see that map works properly on Android as well. To conclude, setting up React Native Maps on iOS is a little bit trickier when compared to setting it up on Android. So that's it for this video guys. See you in the next video. Happy coding until then.